book out, and when the book's flattened out, you get more value. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, the, so you're gonna get it regraded though. Regraded and like it increases the value of it, I guess. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, <coughs> like uh, by, I mean, because the thing is, it says 1.8 on it, mm. but with the pressing, I'm pretty confident I can get like a 2.5, and I'm hoping to get like a three. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see. You know what I mean? All but right. I mean, the difference between one grade on that book is like four grand. That's the difference that it would increase. If oh it, wow! Like, it's a pretty wild. So it's worth like getting it pressed, you know what I mean? How much do you for? Um, a good amount. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the most I've ever paid for a book. Yeah, because yeah, it's the first screen of Spider-Man. Yeah, right? yeah, but I mean, that's like an investment thing. It's like, it's not, it, it's, yeah. it's down the line overall, it'll be, you have, know what I mean? Have books, have those books increased since Stanley's passing? Um, so the, th the cool thing about that one is it has, has um, they, they have increased with Stanley's uh, passing, but yeah. um, his autograph was so common yeah. That it doesn't go. It, it does. It's not as expensive as you would think. Yeah. Okay. Because he signed a lot of stuff. He yeah. Was, he yeah. was notorious for just. He just signing signing every signing. It's not like stuff, it was yeah. like a. It's not like it was a Jack Kirby signature. You yeah. Know what I mean, or or someone more rare. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he was always at cons, right? He was always there. Yeah. Except his later years, it was it was really um, brutal because if you watch videos of him, um, he just. I mean, his wife passed, and you can tell he just didn't want to like be there and like they were forcing him to like it's sad like he's there just like a zombie just like writing so like there's a point in time in the last like the last few years of his life where after his wife passed where his signature you go from seeing it say stan lee and he just looks like a, a black blur you can't tell what it says because sometimes he doesn't even say his name oh. he's just so like whatever you know what i mean <clears throat> and so he became like notorious for like you know like when you have a comic book you always look for a good spot to sign it right and like he kind of became notorious for like um, uh, just signing on like Spider Man's head or something, or oh, Mary wow. Jane's face, or yeah. like like it was like an, just in a bad spot, yeah. or just over the word Spider Man, or or like it's like a black cover and he'll sign the black instead of like the white zone. Yeah, and that's just because he just like, I mean you can't blame him. Like he just he can't he's 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 just kind of like I don't know man. He's wow. older and just like. You know what I mean? He's not all there, focused. They didn't give him the breaks they needed to give him. He's an older man, he needed rest. Yeah. He was probably like sad, depressed because his wife passed, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then there was rumors of like the people that were managing him was like elderly abuse and yeah, people I heard were about taking that things too. from him and it was it was brutal dude. Yeah. I heard I heard about that and I was I don't know. Stanley Stanley seemed like the sweetest guy ever too. Yeah, like, so old man. I, I uh I'd seen him numerous times but I never got to take the photo like I wanted to take with him, but mm. um I had this one instance where I was at a a, a panel uh, for Hasbro for like the action figures at Comic Con, yeah. And I left it a little bit early to beat the crowd, yeah. And when I left it a little bit early to beat the crowd, I took this back route in a hallway, and down the hallway, Stan Lee's walking uh, by himself. He just turns, you know what I mean? This was by like, himself too. By himself. This was maybe like shoot, dude, like seven, eight years ago. Oh, so he had a lot of energy, you know what I mean? But it's crazy because yeah. he's still old. Yeah, he's still, he's still like 80-something, yeah. you know? Um, and he's just charging down, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> And I was like, whoa, whoa, Stan Lee. And I was talking to my brother Diego on the phone, mm -hmm. and I was like, Diego, I was like, I was, dude, I'll call you back because uh -huh. like, it costs X amount of money to just to get a photo with him. And here he yeah. is. I have my phone with me. I'm talking to my brother. I was like, oh, I'm going to hang up real quick because I was like, dude, I can get like a selfie with him right yeah, now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like I don't, like, I've met a lot of famous people, but like for him, I genuinely wanted a photo with him. Yeah. And so like, I saw him and I was like, oh, dude, it's my shot, you know? Mm -hmm. And like, he saw me and I saw him and he was cool. Like, he was like, oh, hey, you know what I mean? Uh, like, I felt like I was going to come up to him and he was going to be like, hello, true believer. You know oh, what I mean? Okay, like, yeah. he was going to give me a whole spiel or something, yeah. you know? But um, as I got closer, I was like, oh, dude, Stan, you know? And he like waved and stuff. And then this guy comes from the corner, I guess is his, car his agent or caretaker or whatever. Okay. And he's like running and running. Like Stanley just like took off without him, I guess, and like, and then like just stands like a sprinter, dude. Like, he's like <laughs> a walker, man. walker. Like he always had like his walking running shoes on. Uh, and then the man grabs him, sees me, grabs Stan, and just um, puts him into this random, uh, like just one of the doors. He just opens it. Like mm -hmm. if there was a panel going on or something, but I guess it was an empty room. Yeah. And he puts him in there. And then I'm like, oh shit, you know oh, what I mean? And in the back corner of the room, then like all the people started coming out. 
And I guess he was like, we were like, oh, so you're going to catch Stan. He's going to be like over. But Stan had just taken off without him. That's it was pretty funny, dude. It's all like yeah. this close to I love, I, never, right I never thought Stan would run at his little old age. That's, yeah, that's well, like a funny it wasn't thing. like running. He does like the speed walk that he would yeah, do. Yeah, okay. So much energy, though, for his age, dude. It was incredible. <laughs> that's funny. But you, talking about how you, would you, where's a good place? You have, you have your own comic book, right? Yes. So uh, what would be a good place to actually sign a comic book? Um, I mean, the conventions that I that I've started doing, I tend to do like a lot, a lot more. Usually I would be at the convention signing because of like uh, the stunt work or the autograph signings I would do for the movies or film or the acting stuff that I've done. Yeah. Um, and then later some like short film directing that I did. Um, but now it's starting to turn into um, some of the writing I'm doing. Um, so like I wrote Illegal Aliens, my own comic book. Uh, that, I still have to read it because I think yeah. that's just funny. That and sounds funny. I wrote the continuation for the new Chronicles of Panacon with Dave Garcia. So I did that. That hasn't come out yet, but when it comes out, I'll have it at my, my, my boots and stuff. And then I have some really cool stuff in the works. Right now, I'm working okay. on a special variant. Uh, oh, nice. Which, um, I can't go into full details. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. yeah, but let's just say it involves four turtles. Yeah, so there's something cool I'm working on. I wonder that's, what, that's what a dream. It? It's a, if it happens, it's a dream come true. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I wonder what it could be. What yeah, kind of yeah. Four turtles so, in it? Yeah, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Something I'm working on right now. And like it'll be like like licensed officially through them. Nice. If it all goes through. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool, man. And and uh, that's just the the that's just the beginning. I have a lot on the way. Yeah. I I see your name. You the Nakera name a lot. Yeah. I see Diego Nakera and I see Ruben Nakera okay. a lot. So obviously the comic book is what you're for, and your brother's very. He just he has the uh, Puma right for a No no. So my my brother just had a. Uh, so my brother and I are both uh, professional skateboarders. Yeah, um, that's, that is true. But he's 10 years younger than me. So like, whereas my career, so so I'm, I'm the first action sports athlete in the history of Imperial Valley, basically, <coughs> ever, um, to make a living, to make a career, to have a signature nice. product. For me, that started with, a, I had a Power Bar box, Power Bar Turning Pro, Nest, which is owned by Nestle. Mm -hmm. And Nestle is a massive company. Nestle, you know, Nestle Water, Nestle, you know what I mean? Like, they do, you do all kinds of stuff, dude. Crunch bar, Butterfinger, you name it. Nice. Um, and so I had uh, a professional, you know, like a, uh, a power bar box, basically, and it was sold at Walmart, Target, Fresh and Easy, Ralphs, and they put this box out with me on it, and then I had a bunch of other sponsors that I wrote for, okay. a bunch of signature products. I had stuff that was like uh, Carry That Tilly's, PacSun. I wrote for PacSun for a little bit. I had like some corporate bigger sponsors. Nice. And that enabled me to essentially do that. I made a living skateboarding, you know? Nice. My car, I paid for it cash because of skateboarding, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, when I went to go sign... You were living your dream, basically. Right? Yeah, basically, like, my resume would say occupation, skateboarder, nice. for everything, you nice. know what I mean? Um, those investments and all those things I did, and I saved money from all that, that's how I was able to, like, open a comic book store and, and buy my, my, you know, my video cameras and invest in this and invest nice. in that, and, like, so it all came from skateboarding. Mm -hmm. um, but my brother's 10 years younger than me so whereas like I like broke into it and was the first person really like um, to figure out how to get there and make it work Yeah. I just took that knowledge and it was like my brother didn't have to do that it was a shortcut it was like don't do this don't do this talk to this person talk to this person I know this guy check in he's my brother he's really good like it just like turned to a whole thing and then it helped that I started him at 3 years old so you know what I mean he's been skating for like 20 years now at this point okay so do anything for that long, you're gonna be absolutely amazing. And his talent is is superb. Like he's he's my favorite skateboarder. Nice. You know, I don't just say that because he's my brother. Like, yeah. um, some of that's in there too. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he is literally my first skateboarder. He's he's amazing. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, so proud of him. And uh, like I said, he's ten years younger than me. So whereas I'm kind of like, I'm not doing the competition circuit anymore and all that stuff. Yeah. You know, because I'm older now. He's ten years younger. So like. It's just beginning. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, his career is, like, he's going to go above and yeah, yeah, beyond. Yeah, he got a shoe partnership. So, yeah. And the... Have you seen, he has a shoe with Adidas. Yeah, yeah, with Adidas. And the, the outlets has been promoting his shoe. Oh, yeah, they did, yeah. Yeah, I saw an advertiser where they're promoting... And it's your name, too. I mean, it's your last yeah, name, too. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool, because, I mean, did you get yourself a pair? Uh, I have my own pair, yeah. Nice. And how yeah. do you feel? I love them. Really? Yeah, actually, my pair... Um, so my pair of two things. One, I didn't want to skate them because they're so beautiful, and yeah. it's, it's his signature shoe. And I'm proud of them. I actually want to get like those little, 
cubes from Ikea and just, like, kind of, like... just keep them there? Keep them there. Okay. Um, no oxygen to come in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, two, uh, I want to skate in them, but I have a contract with a body glove, and I have my own shoe that I'm working with. Yeah, can we talk now. about that? Is that all right? Uh, yeah, we can kind of talk. Yeah, so I'm actually working on a signature shoe with, with body glove. Okay. So I already actually already have a... You have, you have a pair of the shoes? Uh, I have samples. Okay. Yeah, it's a process. Okay. It's pretty... Up there. It's, you said there's going to be a high like, top? Yeah, there's a there's a slip on and a mid top. Okay. Yeah. And I, I I haven't heard from I really that's sight because that's cool because you said that was the thing you wanted right you yeah wanted, dude that's a dream come true you said me. that's what your goal you wanted a shoe with your yeah name that's on, right? that was like my goal that was like my goal in, in, in skating really I mean other than that I mean just want to just skate for fun even if I yeah. wasn't sponsored I'd still skateboard you know no yeah you still skate yeah. for fun right oh all the time dude yeah and my sponsors we're filming videos right now as we speak nice yeah. And uh, how old are you actually? I'm actually 30. Actually, my birthday just passed, so now I'm 34. Oh, yeah. Can you, can you tell people about your birthday present you got? Uh, yeah, so I got myself a, a, an Amazing Fantasy 15, which is the first appearance of Spider Man. That is, yeah. that's a big yeah. name right there. Cause yeah, yeah. Even as a kid, I knew that was like a big comic right there. Yeah, that was one of my Holy Grails. The that, Holy Grails I want to get, I want to <clears throat> House of Secrets 92, which is the first appearance of uh, Swamp Thing, actually. You're a big Swamp Thing guy, huh? Yeah, I actually had that book, and I sold it, like, a long time ago. <laughs> I've never seen you without that sweater. Dude, I love Swamp Thing. And there's a show coming out for Swamp Thing on the DC. I saw that. That Netflix looks pretty so yeah. He looks scary. And Swamp Thing is supposed to be, like, a scary yeah, monster. So that's, that's, like, my cool. shit. That's my favorite DC character, Swamp Thing. Yeah. And isn't that where John Constance's team first appeared, too, huh? He on, did, yeah. On Swamp Thing Swamp Thing book. Yeah, yeah, I love John Constance. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. one of my favorite DC Hell characters. Razor. Yeah. And, um, so, you owning this comic book truck that we're in right now, uh-huh. do you... You, you love selling, you know, the, the fandom out there, right? You just love expressing, showing, giving the fandom out there, right? Yeah, I mean, dude, I, comic books, like, the thing is, like, it's like, like the skateboarding is, like, my lifestyle, and it's what I do. I live and breathe skateboarding, but, like, skateboarding is not my hobby. It's, like, my life. <coughs> yeah. So my hobby is comic books. Okay. So, like, comic books are what I do when I'm not skateboarding. Okay. And so opening a store made sense for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I bet. Um, so like yeah, it's, that's like they go hand in hand. Not to mention like comic books. There's a lot of uh, awesome art that inspires me for like board graphics or to do things for pro models and stuff like that. So they all like intertwine. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's all it's all to me. It all meshes together. So does music. Yeah. Um. But you, <laughs> you're the man who started Imperial Valley Comic Con. Yes. Now. Yeah. Uh, you called it Imperial Valley Comic Con. You could have called it, you know, oh, Meta Human. Yeah, um, could have named um, anything else. Yeah, because you you could have named. Okay, why Meta Human? Uh, so okay, so Meta Humans. To get the name Meta Humans, I actually had to get permission from DC Comics and Mad Magazine because they're actually the unified. Yeah, because they have the characters called Meta Humans. Yeah, right? so Meta Humans in the DC world is like mutants in Marvel. Yeah, you know, okay. that means like superhuman. So I actually had to get approval, and they gave us the green light. So nice. we like have our name like legit. <clears throat> nice. That's why we're the only meta humans uh, in the world. Comics. That's also our. Um, and so uh, we got that approved, and then I didn't want to do like a convention just from our store. I wanted to do Imperial Valley Comic Con because like, like we're good enough in the valley to have our own convention. And going to all these conventions, I've been to Chicago Comic Con, C2E2, nice. been to San Diego, the big show, mm-hmm. LA Comic Con, WonderCon. I've been to all these shows. You've been invited out there. I've been invited to auto- do signings at a lot, actually a lot. To get an there. invite to a con, dude, that's, that must be an honor, man. Yeah. Like, they actually tell you, we want you and one of these dudes. Like, yeah. They could have gotten anybody, too. Yeah, I actually got an invite for San Diego again. Kind of nice, bro. Right now. Yeah, so. if, if we go, dude, I'll definitely say hi to you. Yeah, sure. Yeah, dude, I'll have a booth. Um, and, um, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to do something for the Valley. Just a convention for us, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And just so everyone can enjoy. And, um, and it turned out great. Oh, it dude. turned out awesome. You got big cosplay names. You got big You got big actors. Named the actors, yeah. Michael Copan, yeah. Tracy Lynn Cruz, yeah. Blake Foster. I and loved, uh, uh, the, dude, Tracy Lynn was so nice. She was the sweetest. Um, uh, Joseph Tracy. Joe Rubenstein was an honor to have there. I think the Super Nazi? No, no, Joe, Joseph Rubenstein. Uh, he's the guy that did the famous Wolverine. Oh yeah, 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 him. Yeah, he was such a cool guy. Dude, that guy's a legend. Yeah. So his work, his body of work is is uh, I mean, it goes on and on and on. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I'm looking at books that come in collections in the bottom left corner. I'll say Rubenstein. And I'm like, dude, it's so crazy. We got this guy here. Right. Yeah, did you have, Did you have him sign anything? I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He signed a bunch of uh, uh, posters that we have exclusively for the store. I actually have guests that signed in for next year's Comic Con already. Yeah. They can, they approach you because they saw how successful this year's Dude, was. Dude, it's we have agents that are just like reaching out to us left and right, like 
sh- to shoving their rosters at us. Like it's a big success. It's growing fast. Yeah. Like yeah. last year you had like what two special guests? Three. This and year. This year we had like ten. Yeah. Cause Crazy. You had because last year was um, Steve guarding us. Yeah, Steve. He was um, cool. Yeah, he seemed pretty cool. He was. Um, yeah. I wasn't there Sunday. I didn't even know it existed until this year. Yeah. So you invited us out there. And and then uh, you had the original Rita Repulsa, right? Yes, Carla Perez. And then you had... Nick Palma. Nick Palma. So Nick Palma right. came back. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Nick Palma's a, a standout dude, man. Yeah. He's, a, he's, I, he's like a genuine friend of mine now. Like, That's awesome, awesome, bro. He's a really good dude. We're like friends, like... I wouldn't doubt if you see us work on something together in the future, actually. Like, do you, do you plan on having him for next year? I, you know what? I invite him a second year. If I invite him every year and he's willing to come, I will always have Nick. Just nice. he's kind of like a... a He's oh, kind of a legend. He's, he's like an Imperial Valley Comic Con Hall of Famer. He's kind of, yeah, he's kind of a legend too. Yeah. In, the, in the Ninja Turtle Hall of Fame, oh, you know. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Nick Palma is what made the turtles the turtles. You know, he's what made dude. them look cool. Dude, and you should see who we already have coming next year. He's someone involved with turtles. Now like, you see, he hasn't told me. He will not tell me yet because it's kind of a little. Secret. We will like in a few months, actually. Okay. Like way before the convention even happens, we'll announce who's coming. But he already one hundred percent put it in his calendar. Okay, perfect. And it's like he's already him already signing on is already like. It's already next level. It's and, pretty incredible. And so, can you at least say how? Can you say how many special guests are coming for next year? Next year, I, I'm gonna. I think ten's like. I think like, ten's like the number kind of right now. Okay. I don't really want to go beyond that because okay. there's already a lot to handle. Yeah. With that, um, although now with what we getting pitched at us, we can go like twenty people if we wanted. But yeah, like I got to keep it. still. Um, right now it's looking like it's still there, just cause like they were so good to us. You know what I mean? Like okay. working with them was easy. Yeah. Um, whereas other people like believe it or not when I first was doing the convention we got I actually got people would Venues would look at me like what are you talking about? Like how is this gonna work? Right? They didn't believe in it, right? Wouldn't give me the right rates wouldn't give me the days didn't take me serious And then when I did it um, Now they reached out to you yeah, dude. So like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They they all reached back yeah. out to me and more because it was a success. It, yeah, it totally especially because you got big names to come. Yeah. Steve Cardenas is a big name himself. If you just had him as a guest, like people yeah. would have come to just see him. Yeah. And people were, right? Yeah, yeah. He he his booking, he sold out on his ticket shows for tourist meet and greets. Wow. Of what he's supposed to do. So he could have stayed longer mm-hmm. and did more, but since he had already booked everything he had to do, he did his thing and he bounced. Yeah. He could have made uh, more money and meet and greets and stuff, but he met his quota and he was out. But he's such a like humble guy, nice guy. He was out. He was chill. Yeah, yeah was nice, cool. bro. Yeah, cool. I, I wish you could have done I know. I didn't know it was a con until now. I'm actually He's spreading the word about this. A con people still don't know about it. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's it grew twice as much as I saw because I was watching it from like other people's vlogs and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, it grew twice as much this. Oh, year. it did. Yeah, next next year will be even more because of the format and the way we're gonna do it. How'd you get in touch with like um, Darth Lexi, uh, Cats? The so they're other. actually like Imperial Valley Comic Con Hall of Famers too, actually. Really? They're this, this is their second year. So next year you'll probably see them again. Awesome, because yeah. they're they're so cool, dude. They're super. They're they're great on the mic too. Like they have, like they're just great. Like like yeah. overall interactive uh, special guests. You know what I mean? We like, had them as judges for the costume. Oh, for contest. sure. And next year they'll judge again. You know, like they're they're like our judges. You know? Yeah, they're great. They're great. They're really sweet. They're they're really thankful for being there. You know? Oh, they're awesome. And they're awesome. Oh man, it's, it's just so cool, man. I had a blast. I had I had fun just talking to everybody. I had I had a fun time meeting the, the Rangers and stuff. Yeah. I had a fun time. Thanks for inviting us. You know, I'm no, so thankful for it, man. No, happy, happy. Yeah. yeah, and so you're when you go to SC Comic Con. I mean, that's a big SC's like one of the biggest Comic Cons. Yeah. So when you go there, what what's like the difference? So you get a bigger audience over there, right? Well, San Diego Comic Con has an estimated. Uh, it fluctuates from the years, but I think they had 170 thousand people in the last show. Mm-hmm. Attendance, mm-hmm. which is absolutely insane. Yeah, um, I mean that 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 convention doesn't fit there. It's actually outgrown itself. So that's yeah. why the time there's panels that you have to go to, and they're like at the Hilton or something. Yeah, because that's a that's a con that where the cast of the Avengers gets invited to, you know. Yeah. So that must be something like be honored about where you like yeah come down we want you here. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you're like alongside. I mean, I don't know if you ever got to run into the cast or anything, or any other, like, big names. I've met a lot of people there, dude. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I've met a lot of people there. <laughs> so, is it too much to, to think about, or, like... Uh, no, I've just come across a lot. I mean, like, even to the extent where, like, um, 
when we're doing signings and stuff, people that I'm doing signings with or as- alongside me, like last year I was next to um, Lisa Marie. She's a, a WWE, she's a diva. Yeah, okay. She's Victoria. Okay. So I was signing next to her in her booth. And then in past years, I've been like across from me uh, was uh, Guillermo del Toro. He's like a director. Yeah. That was super Yeah, cool he directed um, Blade 2. Dude, yeah. I love Blade yeah, he also too. Did the Hellboy movie. Yeah, yeah, I love that guy. That he was guy. like a cross. Jane, um, what's what's that one that after he was he was in a. Uh, he's a Hispanic actor legend. Um, Antonio Banderas. Almost Junior. Oh. James Almost Junior. I believe it is. James Almost Junior. Is it? Uh, what's, what's his name? Um, he was in like Selena. Selena. He plays the dad. I didn't watch Selena. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was there also doing a signing in the same area we were. Oh, okay. Um. But uh, I think it's Edward Almost Jr. Maybe no, something like that. Okay. Yeah. I recognize his face. Almost though. Yeah, almost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, almost. Yeah. Okay. yeah, but his face, like every time I see it, I recognize him from different films. But he was there too. Um, I don't know. Just like being around all of them is kind of cool and networking with them. Yeah. Last year, the interesting thing was we each had assigned us uh, like a security guard to our post. Okay. Um, because of what happened the prior year at the Phoenix Fan Fusion, did you hear about that? The so JDF of you know Jason David Frank. Yeah. Some guy came in and thought he was the Punisher and wanted to assassinate. JDF? No, 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 no. This guy, some guy came in, thought he was the Punisher, and he wanted to assassinate JDF or something like that. Did you, Google it. It's crazy. Someone tried to kill JDF. Dude, someone went in and he had like real grenades or real weapons, like well, like they weren't like. Whoa. You know what I mean? And he went and he passed the security check with his cosplay stuff, but he was like. Not oh, but they were real stuff. They were real, but he was not all there. And some girl that knew him through Facebook contacted them and told him, "Hey, you know, you should. This is what's going on. I think he's gonna do this for reals, you know." And they caught the dude and he had real weapons and everything, dude. And he was going to go. And since that happened, the next year when we did the signing at San Diego, yeah. we each had assigned a, a security guard to each of us. Yeah. Wow, dude. I didn't know about that. Some, some, okay, because it was all because they thought JDF was the Punisher? No, no, no. The guy thought he was the Punisher. And so he was going to make JDF pay for whatever oh, he thought man. in his head. That, and JDF's like, I don't even know who this guy is. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Wow. wow, dude. Yeah. I didn't know about that. I'll Google I definitely, it. Definitely, yeah. It's because crazy. Someone tried to assassinate him. That's crazy. Yeah. Man. And so then next year, they took they took it real serious with all guests, like big or small. Yeah. And so like even I had a security guard in my post. Yeah, and dude. And Lisa had hers and all this other stuff. And then the funny thing is I got to know my security guard. And then this year I went to WonderCon and I couldn't get through the front gate. And then the security guard, like I couldn't get through the front gate because my pass was with the company that was in there. I was going to give it to me. Okay. But then the security guard recognized me because he was being one of the guards from, uh, right next to me at okay. the Comic Con. Okay. And so he recognized me and then we we're like, all right, you can come through this way because you already knew where I was. And then I went through there. Oh, nice. So it, like those kind of networking things yeah. and interlooping, like yeah. it's funny how all that like tails into each other. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But like, it's just kind of like, I don't know, you just network and build from that, you know what I mean? Get to know people and yeah. then you become familiar with the, the people that work there and huh. that's just how you like be a part of some of the bigger shows, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. But uh, if some of those things are interesting, like how behind the scenes stuff, like you all got cars now. And yeah. I got all strict and stuff, like pretty wild, dude. Yeah. Uh, can you talk about what's happening May 4th? So May 4th, we're going to do our, our uh, well, this we're, we're hoping that we're going to make the flyers and stuff, but Jack Guzman, who's the... Black Wild Force Power Ranger is going to be doing a signing here at MetaHumans. Yeah. And um, it's also a free comic book day on that day. Yeah. And it's also Star Wars May the 4th be with you. So it's a bunch of things in one day. Mm-hmm. So he's doing a signing here. Uh, and of course, we're giving out free comics. Nice. And yeah. it's a store opening, so we'll have a bunch of sales and stuff. There'll be a video game tournament outside. I'll have a bunch of booths, a lot of local artists, a lot of local vendors. Um, Jack signing. He's got a cool deal where like, it's the photo package with the signing and the meet and greet, like a real meet and greet. It's not like, hey, and then next, like, really, like, chop it up with him. Yeah. And it's, like, 20 bucks with him for everything. Wow, that's pretty Everything, nice. everything, that's nice. everything. You know what I mean? And, like, it's, like, you come in one-on-one experience with him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not rush or anything. And we'll have, like, a line that will form just for that. Wow. And he'll be here for a good, like, good, like, four or five hours with us. Nice. And then there'll be vendors outside, free video game tournament, free comic book day, handout, free books, first come, first serve. Nice. Um, although, I have a lot of books that I'm going to give out, so everybody who comes, I will make sure we'll leave with something for free. Nice. It's just if you have a certain title in, in mind that you want, you yeah. go get here early. Yeah. 
but yeah. we'll be sure. But everyone will get something. For yeah. Sure. We'll be sure to see Split out there too. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Because yeah. we're we'll be there. We'll we'll videotape everything. We want to get everything the whole experience because that that's good. That sounds pretty tight, and I know yeah. people are gonna show up for it. Dude, I didn't inform people about it. Like I'm telling people, like yo, you want to come? Because I'm telling people, but because I don't have a date. Yeah. But people are totally psyched about it by everyone I'm telling about. Yeah, May fourth is what we're looking at right now. Yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure the day that he's coming. Mm-hmm. Um, we just need to make the flyer, but you hear it here first, so we're doing it. So. Yeah, so, uh, Jack Guzman, man, he seems pretty nice. Yeah. Like, what I've seen through social media, he seems like a super nice guy. Super nice guy. And so, like, just as nice as Tracy. <laughs> Dude, Tracy was on a whole nother Tracy, level, man. You know what, we're going to do something with Tracy later, too. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, sure. that's she's awesome. awesome. Yeah. She's so sweet. And yeah, for sure. I see her, she's always around stuff. You know, she's a she's a mom first. Yeah, for sure. But, yeah. yeah, but she's always around, you know, going to cons and stuff. And she just loves her fans, like, so much. Yeah, not just that, but her work ethic is, is strong. You know what I mean? Yeah. She, like you said, she, she loves the fans. She's all for them. Mm-hmm. Um, she's just awesome. Yeah, she's so great. And so, are you excited for next year's Imperial Light Comic Con, though? Super excited. Are I'm you always excited. Are you working on it now? Like you're Already working, working on it, yeah. yeah dude. So I said we already have a guest already. Yeah. That's cool, man, because after it's done, you got to work on next year's, huh? Yeah, yeah, gotta pretty be, much. you got to be really prepared for next just year. Just keeps going, just keeps going, you know? Yeah, because San Diego Comic Con started like how we have it. Just small yeah. booths. Yeah, it did. Yeah. yeah, so I can totally see it growing like that. And I definitely want to see more of it, and I definitely can't wait for next year's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, dude. Uh, so tell me how your original place was in Calexico, right? We started off in Calexico at the Price Center, uh, but then the Price Center ended up becoming an indoor storage locker. And so even though we weren't in the Price Center, we were in the outer area, the marble building ended up becoming an office. Over. So they basically kicked everybody out. So it wasn't uh, by like everybody that was there uh, got kicked out, which was sad. I like. We were younger, so we can move stuff around, and it was like, whatever, we'll bounce. But I felt bad for some of the people inside, like the yeah. older ladies or older men who had stores there for like 50 years. Yeah. And like, we had to help them move stuff because they literally hadn't, like, they were done. Yeah. Like, they didn't have, you know what I mean? The energy, the time, the, the help to move everything to another building or could afford another building like mm-hmm. that. So it was tough. Um, and I just felt it wasn't really handled in a right way. It wasn't fair to any of us, right. really. So when we ended up uh, splitting, mm-hmm. um, there was no store at the time in El Centro. There had used to be one in El Centro, but they closed. And I didn't open El Centro because I didn't want to step. I'm, I'm a nice dude, and I don't want to step on anyone's toes. Right, it's right. super fair. I try to be, you know what I mean, reach out to everyone. So at that point, when I was in Calexico, we were the only. Actually, when I opened in Calexico, there was literally no comic book store in the valley. Damn. Right? Yeah, yeah, there so, was. And then the one that had opened in El Centro a little bit after, right? Then there's one that opened there, yeah. but then they ended up closing. Yeah, yeah. And so then when we Lee's, had it, right? Was it Lee's? Uh, no, it was it, it was there at Lee's, but it was called something else. Okay. Mr. Lee was a really nice guy, by the way. Yeah. I know. Um, um. So then when we ended up leaving Calexico, the one in El Centro had closed up already. Mm-hmm. So then, then I was like, you know, I'll just go to El Centro because, um, at the time someone else was already opening something else in in Calexico. Yeah. And so I just kind of felt like, well. You know, there's two in Calexico. Yeah. And now there's nothing in El Centro. Mm. Again, trying to be a nice guy, I just moved to El Centro. Like, well, I'll just do El Centro. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, besides, I lived in El Centro anyway. So, oh, wow. So, I mean, it's it just moved everything over here. And we had ended up moving to where Alcatillo uh, Plaza is, down the street from Southwest High School. Oh, okay. Which was close to where the, uh, the like, the OG comic book store, um, Nightly, uh, Nightly Games. Uh, I believe it was called. The it was yeah. there like 16. Nightly Games was the one that was there like 16 years ago, 15 years ago, something like that. It was owned by the, the Zaras. And okay. um, uh, that was like a long time ago. And so we kind of moved into that where that little plaza was. Uh, but then, then we ended up having to move out of there because um, the neighbors pressure washed the ground. Uh, and we have carpet. And they didn't ask permission. And the next day, our whole store was like a swamp in the inside. Oh. And like we sell stuff that's like. Like, we lost a bunch of vintage comics and stuff because, like, it's all cardboard. The, the right. water seeps in, so, like, we got to get out of there, dude. So now we're in our new spot. Um, yeah, like, just new spot, only comic books. Mm. Um, landlord's a lot nicer. We're able to use the whole parking lot for, like, an event. Yeah, for May 4th, right? Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, we have a lot more, a lot more leeway. 
Uh, just better vibes. And it's just like Memorial Store. It's smaller, but it's got more character. Right. You know what I mean? It's got a lot more character. And uh, truthfully, when I walk in here, it feels more like a real comic book store than... It is a real comic book Yeah, dude. Legit. Yeah, dude. Yeah, actually, it's cool. Yes, yesterday, there was a guy who, I guess, looked this up on Yelp. And uh, when he saw it from a distance, he was... He, like, basically almost got down on knees and he was like, Thank heavens, a real comic book store! <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. well, the there's only the one I know in Calexico and then there's this one. That's all I know, the collection corner. Yeah, so, so the guy, uh, I guess he was going through from Phoenix to San Diego and he yelped us. And I don't know where he was. Uh, wow, from San Diego, wow. He's going to San Diego. Oh, okay. And he saw us, he was like, oh, thank, thank heavens, a real comic book store. He came here, it was all like... Was he really impressed by it? Yeah, he liked yeah, it. He loved all like the vintage. Yeah, I think stuff people should know about it more because there's a big community for this stuff. Yeah, and I, yeah, me being included because I grew up with comic books too. I kind of like distanced myself from it because I got busy with like college and school and stuff. Yeah, kind of. But I always come back to some like this. Yeah, this is what I grew up with. This is like the shit for me. Yeah. But dude, well, oh, who's your favorite character, Marvel character? Like, so people know like who are your favorite characters? Because so, you love Swamp Thing. That's Swamp Thing is my favorite DC character. Um, and then uh, my favorite Marvel character, I, I'm kind of like. I'm kind of like, I have a couple actually. Okay, so I know Spider-Man's one. Spider, I'm down with Spider-Man. but You wouldn't not, buy a first appearance of Spider-Man yeah, if you didn't course, love Spider-Man. Of course, of mm course. -hmm. So that's, that's the thing, I'm torn. I don't have like a favorite yeah. like Marvel uh, character per se, but obviously I love Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh, Spider-Man, there's a couple I can write. I, mean, I like Spider-Man, I like Gambit, I like... Gambit's dope. Gambit's, yeah, Gambit's cool. Um... I'm a fan of uh, just the X-Men overall. So you excited for Dark Phoenix? Um, I don't... Here's the thing. I've never really liked how any of those X-Men movies have been handled. Not even like, like the Logan movie? Um, Logan was pretty good, but even then, like, I don't know. Like, mm -hmm. I want an X-Men movie kind of true to the... Yeah, because you know? Logan... I mean, the original, like, Old Man Logan should have Hawkeye, should have Red Skull, the Hulk. Yeah, yeah. So you're talking about like that. Yeah, and then Black Widow's awesome. I've always liked Black Widow. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, ever since the... Uh, Black Cat is the first character I was introduced to in Marvel. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, and that's super random fact. But that's the first... It was a Spider-Man comic book. Mm -hmm. But a character that was prevalent in the book was Black Cat. Okay. So, like, to me, that was the first, like, hero villain yeah, yeah. I was introduced to. Yeah. You know? And the cover of the book that had it was... It was uh, Spider-Man being beaten by a tombstone to, like, a pulp. By tombstone? Yeah. Oh, okay. Villain, so... Um, yeah, I just have like a lot of different favorites in Marvel. I guess I don't have like a, a favorite favorite, but obviously Spider Man's like in my top three. You know. Okay. Okay. So, you say you're gonna have a video game tournament here on May fourth? Yeah, we're gonna do a video game tournament here in the the front. What what game? What um, I think they're doing. Uh, we're doing that with uh, Salty Spittoon um, Gaming, and uh, they're good friends of ours. And um, I think they're doing Smash Brothers. Smash Bros. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What well, made you have a Smash Bros. tournament at Imperial Valley Comic Con? Um, we're just friends with them, and I just let them like, yo, what do you guys want to do? Um, they said so Smash Bros. They, they chose that, so that they just run with said, it. Said, okay, go ahead. Pretty much. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's I'm cool. Just, open just letting them do what they want. You're you're very big on the community. You love you love the Imperial Valley. Yeah. Love you it. Love, do you plan on staying here, or do you plan on evolving, and going somewhere else? Um. So I mean, here's the thing. I've actually I lived in Orange County for six years. Okay. And then I was in San Diego for like a year, and I was in LA for like a year and a half, two mm -hmm. years. So I've been around. I'm gonna eventually get a house house in Orange County. Oh wow. Because when I was in Orange County for like six years, I had probably had like four different apartments um oh. and like it got to a point where when i was over there that like i would literally go to my apartment like maybe twice in a week yeah so it made no sense to pay for the uh apartment okay you know what i mean because like my i was heavily into my skateboarding and like when you're always traveling and stuff and then you're paying for rent for a place that you're in eight days out of a month mm -hmm. make doesn't even make sense yeah. My life at that point was I was like a nomad. I just had to go. It's kind of funny. It's what my brother does now. Like my brother has an apartment in LA, but like he's in Australia and then he's in Europe and then he's in New York and then he's never. You know what I mean? A lot of times he's not even. You know what I mean? I was gonna hang out with him uh, tomorrow actually, but he's not gonna be either there because he's gonna be with uh, Adidas at Coachella Fest. Oh wow! So, so see what I mean? Like you always. So you get invited to Coachella? Uh, he yeah he's he's gonna be at Coachella yeah but I'll be in L A because I'm on Saturday I'm filming I I got a role on a on a pilot show it's like a oh, short film pilot show. Can you talk about it? Or? Uh, I can't talk about that one. But you just know you're gonna you can tell that you're gonna be on a. Pilot uh, show. I'm already I already got cast. Nice. So I'm, we're bro. filming my my bit. Okay. Yeah, so I'll be there Friday and Saturday. Yeah, tomorrow and Saturday. So, okay. 
Um, yeah, so see, like, it's just the lifestyle. We're just always hop skipping. You know what okay. I mean? Eventually, that's why I say I'm going to get a house in Orange County because I'll get to a point where it'll be like, okay, I can settle more. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I'll eventually find a manager who can, like, run this store and then I can yeah. just check in. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And be where I'm at and come back. Yeah. Because literally every week I still drive up to Orange County in LA every week. Okay. You got family so there? So I can probably reverse that and be living over there, but check in once a week here. Yeah. So I'll reverse that role. Okay. But right now I'm in the process of like, because I mean, we're barely doing our grand opening. Yeah, floor, yeah, yeah. You know? so, okay. so that's the idea, you know? But eventually I'll live over there, but I will always forever come back to Imperial Valley and I will always support. I'll always do Imperial Valley Comic Con. Um, I help the skateboard scene here a lot. Yeah. I always will. Um, the youth, um, I'm always up for inspiring. I've done, uh, actually last week I did the Boys and Girls Club Brawley and Boys and Girls Club Holtville. I did presentations there. Um, and then I've done like uh, career days for Southwest High School, oh, wow. IVC, Hedrick Elementary, basically all the schools I've gone to. The only one, the only school I went to that I haven't been invited yet for career day is a Wilson Junior High. So we'll okay. see if they hit me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I'm open to just talking. And I'm just about inspiring the youth here because I know how much that impacted or would have impacted me when I was younger had someone come and done that. That's awesome. Um, yeah, just, I mean, we have so much potential here and like we're better than, I mean, you always hear about, you don't really hear it that often. Like, oh, I came from Imperial Valley or Central and people would be proud of it, you know? Yeah. And like, I am proud of it and I always nice. will be, you know? Nice. That's so, something to inspire too. Yeah. All right, Ruben, I think it's time to wrap it up. All well, right. It was great talking to you, Ruben. Yeah. Where can people locate you, though? Um, You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, just at Ruben Ahead. Um, on Facebook, I'm uh, facebook.com slash Ruben Ahead and Junior, JR, because my, my dad's name's Ruben Ahead. But actually, I had to get the Junior on Facebook okay. because someone had gotten my name on Facebook and tried to sell it to me. <laughs> someone tried to, to sell your own it name? It got to that point, I guess. And so I was like, damn it, it just really just happened. Did you, you give know? in? No, I didn't. Okay. So I just added Junior. I'm like, hey, man, I'm rolling with this. Okay. You know? And your store people can find it on Instagram at? Uh, my store, MetaHumans Comics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. at MetaHumans Comics, MetaHumans Comic, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, Located at? 444 North Imperial Avenue, El Centro, California. Uh, zip code 92243. So, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, come check us out. We're open Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, 4 to 8.30 um, sometimes later for packaging stuff because we have like two online stores and we have the storefront um, but most importantly I mean come on our opening day May 4th um, it's Star Wars Day free comic book day and you can get to meet the Black Power Ranger from Wall Force Jack Guzman they'll be here at our store we'll have a festival outside a lot of cool stuff so um, don't miss it we invite you and also it's free comic book day so if you want some of those Marvel or DC or Valiant titles that are gonna like you know go quick just come make the line early you know what i mean because like we'll have we'll have the biggest amount in selection in the valley here um for sure we have a lot actually um so yeah this will be the place to come get it and uh yeah we just have so much in store i mean jack's our first guest here um but it's wild who else i have coming this year we have some some big names okay. actually what's going to happen here we're going to have a little like a wall of fame and as people start coming to see the people that have come in here in this little shop, oh, okay, okay, okay. and it's just gonna be like, you know what I mean? Like, small shop, big energy. Like, yeah. holy smokes, yeah. I can't believe so and so's been here, and so and so's been mm-hmm. here, and so and so's been here. Like, I don't think there's ever been a building where, like, like I always turn back where, like, I remember, like, there's like that pizza place in Holtville where, like, John Travolta eats pizza there, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, like, this little comic book store, like, you trip out on with through time, who the heck we've had in here? Yeah. The, our, our guest list is gonna be insane I bet. Time. yeah all right man all yeah. right be sure to like and subscribe everybody hit that bell get notified of each video that comes out comment what you like comment what you didn't like and uh, be sure to check out for every video we have thanks guys thank you yeah.